Hi, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the first episode that I'm making about DoorDash. So this first episode is about the first day and things that maybe I should have known or I could have gotten information to not make those mistakes, you know, or all the things to be aware of. So when I first started doing DoorDash, it was because I didn't have a job and I was like, well, I need to find something to make some money. You know, it was during the pandemic and all this and that. So um, I decided to apply for DoorDash. Um, once I got accepted, I was able to see that, you know, some friends were making about $100 to $150 a day. They could probably, you could probably even make more or less than that. It depends on, you know, the area that you're going, um, how, much, how many hours you're planning to, you know put it in a day so the first thing that i did when i started doing doordash is just i apply hit doordash now and you know start working but i wish i would have known the mileage that they give you and also how much they're paying you because when i first started doing this i was just accepting every order as it was coming in to me so either it didn't matter if it was they're gonna pay me ten dollars or five dollars for like five ten miles that was something that i didn't know and i hope you guys can take from this video that and i'll i'll say i'll show you guys an example of what i'm talking about okay so for this example that i'm showing you it says that i'm picking up an item from petco but i'm driving 22 miles in total and they're gonna pay me 10.75 Based on the example that I just showed you guys, it's that on my on the first day I would have accepted that right away because I thought, wow, ten dollars and seventy-five cents, that's really good. If I do that one and I do another one of five dollars or between five dollars to ten dollars, then I'll be making you know twenty dollars an hour. But that was not the case. The reason why it's not worth taking those. It's because you're wasting your time and your money. So you're driving 22 miles, but you're only getting paid 1075 for that amount of miles that you're driving. So what you want at least, it's if accept that one, if they were paying you at least $20, $20 which is the 20 miles that they were that you were gonna drive. Because you want to make at least a dollar per um, mile that you're driving so you know that was a mistake that I made and you know that's something that I probably did because I was just you know I was just like wow this is so much money you know I can make it but at the end of the day the numbers were not adding up because I was pretty much wasting my gas and I wasn't making enough money you know and then with DoorDash as you can see at the bottom of the image it tells you if you if you want to accept you can go ahead but if you want to decline this delivery then you have that you also have that option so you're just not you know tied to that delivery that DoorDash sent you so if you don't think it's worth your time your money then you can decline it but that was my first mistake that I made accepting everything that I was that was coming my way and I wish I would have known this before start before I started doing DoorDash so I hope that's something that you can take away from this video for sure um, another mistake that I made is okay now the third tip that I can give you is if you're gonna start doing DoorDash I would highly recommend you to do DoorDash during the day. The reason why is because even if you think you're gonna do DoorDash in the city you live, there's probably a lot of places that you haven't driven by and you're gonna see, oh wow, during the day, you're, you know, during the day, you're gonna be able to see all these, you know, potholes or construction zones, uh, you know, etc. things that you can see during the day, but at night, if you decide to do DoorDash and you don't know the area by heart, then you might come across this, you know, little potholes or things like that. And that can seriously damage your car. So you have to think not about you just making money, but also like keeping 
your car is safe if you know what I'm if you know if you think if you know what I'm saying because you're using your car to do DoorDash and go make some money but if you don't know where you're going or if you don't know the area then you're just gonna you know you don't know what's gonna happen so I, it's not like something bad is gonna happen but I'm just want you to be aware of those things too so my first day I think I made like $30 just because I wanted to get the hang of it of how things were going and now uh, I've done about 365 deliveries and I'll show you guys an example of my uh, rating page too so you guys can take a look at um, this is the rating that I have so far from the 387 deliveries that I've done so very top it's customer rating 4.95 Acceptance rate 32%, completion rate 92, and on time 91%. All right, so out of the 387 uh, deliveries that I've done with DoorDash, um, I think that the takeaway that I'm taking from from this job is that I can easily make 15 to 25 dollars an hour, and that's something that I was not expecting. That's something that's helping me pay bills, help out my family. So if at the moment, you know, because of COVID, you don't have a job or you have a few hours at work or, you know, you want to make extra money, I highly recommend you to apply for DoorDash. And if they do accept you, then, you know, go out and do DoorDash during the day and, you know, just try out every single restaurant around your area and see which ones you know take a uh, short uh have the food ready on time and which ones don't so for the future you can say okay well if i'm getting a, a delivery from mcdonald's yeah i'll go get it because you know they have it ready like that but if you're going into an italian restaurant or you know somewhere fancy where you know they take longer than the than you expect the food to be ready then maybe it's not worth going it, it all it all depends but i what i say is at least give each place that you're picking up from at least five deliveries so you want to pick up at least five times from that specific restaurant and see if it's you know worth your time to picking up from there because you have that option too to decline or, or accepting and you also have you also want to make sure to go different times of the day because probably you'll say oh i don't like going to this place because they always take forever but if you're going from four to eight which is every everybody's you know calling to get from that place then obviously gonna get busy but if you're going in the morning or you know evening or something like that you, you know it's worth to check it out and see if they take the same time or if they're tipping you better or not you know so that's our things to keep in mind if you're gonna do DoorDash, you know just go out there and go out through the whole day and see what works for you because majority of the time you're not gonna waste your time i know for a fact you can make at least 15 dollars to 20 dollars an hour that's for sure so if you guys like the video please like it uh subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends uh you don't know if there's someone else out there too that might be looking for an extra uh a job you know so um, I hope this was helpful. I'll start making more videos about DoorDash uh, as it is. So it's worth for you to subscribe to the channel and you know, I'll come with more ideas, tips, you know, for, if, for DoorDash. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so the second tip that I can give you, it's to know your area. And what I mean is because if you're gonna do DoorDash in a different area where you live, this could be because you think in a different area they'll give you a better tip. That's, you know, understandable, but you have to do your homework and you have to know which restaurants make their food on time and which, and you also have to know which restaurants will not have your food on time. So let's say it's 4 p.m. and you're supposed to pick up at 4.20 at Taco Bell. Usually right now with the pandemic, you're not allowed to go inside the store. So you have to do line, but you know, it's in the afternoon. Uh, there's a lot of people, you know, who want to go to Taco Bell probably. So 
one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you'll have to be doing line and you don't know if there's gonna be a few cars in front of you or a lot of them in front of you. So 